Uh, we are starting to plant BT cotton and this is the first time uh, a GM crop is being planted outside confinement. <laughs> My name is Dr. Charles Waturu. Uh, currently, I'm the director of the Hotkasha Research Institute, which is based at Thika. Uh, over and above that, I am a research scientist, uh, cotton uh, entomologist to be specific. Uh, we, I have struggled to control the boreworm for the last 37 years, uh, doing research uh, under uh, Karo, uh, and over these 37 years, uh, we have done control using chemicals, uh, which did not work uh, over time. Uh, and then we reached a point where we decided uh, that we introduced the new technologies that came into the world for controlling these pests, like the boreworms. And that is how, in 2001, we decided to make an application to the then National Biosafety uh, Committee to introduce BT cotton in Kenya. For the 17 years I have worked with this technology, we have made uh, attempts to commercialize this technology, but uh, somehow it didn't work. Uh, after we finished research in 2010, we embarked on a, an awareness uh, crusade all over the country hoping to commercialize this technology. But this did not work because of various uh, hitches that came here and there. But I want to thank uh, the current government for facilitating us to move a step ahead by reaching this stage of uh, doing national performance trials. <laughs> Leo pale alupe tumeanza kwa mara ya kwanza tangu nchi ya Kenya pate uhuru kupanda ile begu ya pamba ambayo inaitwa nini BT cotton Sema BT cotton BT cotton Hiyo maneno BT This is a very good milestone for Busia County and even the whole country of Kenya because for a long time our farmers have had challenges on cotton production and we are first of all glad that um, the national government and uh, NBA and other bodies like ICE, I mean uh, ICE of course also and um, KFIS and Caldron and others have given this thing priority. And um, just for the purpose of this, I would like to say that BT cotton is going to be a milestone. It will be a game changer for the cotton farmers in Busia County and all over the country. You realize for example that if you go to India, the farmers are smiling all the time because of the BT cotton. But for us in Kenya, we took so long to adopt this technology. And today, as you look at the national performance trials at Alupe, for somebody from Busia County like myself, where farmers have challenges, we are really very excited about it. Mimi, kama mkulima wa Mkura Farmers Corporative Society, nataka wa kulima wangu, wa mudi wa pande BT cotton, wa wone ufaida ya BT cotton, ba, vile itawafaidisha. Awata kuwa na asara, bali ni faida tupu. I'm very excited about the, this moment when we are planting the national performance trials because for the Kenyan farmers, it means a moment where they are going to start making money out of cotton and they can be able to educate their children from this cotton as they did before.